Hello and welcome to this Swift tutorial. In this video, we're going to take a look at the context menu. You might have a very simple app. You might only have one button, but you want to display numerous amounts of buttons. How do you do that? Well, that's where context menus come in handy. They, they, they don't take up any extra space, but they offer a bunch of functionality. How you do that, how you implement it, that's what we're going to take a look at in this video right now. So let's jump into it. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new project. I'm going to make it an app, click next and call this context menu. And then I'm going to save it someplace cool. So here we have our standard Hello World app. And normally I delete all of this, but in this tutorial, I'm actually going to leave it in in order to show the power of the context menu because really it doesn't take more space. It's just an added functionality without taking up any extra space. Uh, so let's just add a co context menu to the already existing text. I'm just going to change a little bit around on it actually in order to make it a bit more user friendly. And I'm going to call this create a note. And I'm going to form it more like a button so that it's uh, very visible that it can be pressed. So let's first of all add a frame to our text field here. I'm going to give it a width of uh, let's say 250. And I'm also giving, going to give it a height of 50. Then to make it a bit more fancy, I'm also going to add a background, which is just going to be a blue background. And to make the text a bit more visible, I'm going to make it white, so foreground style. And I'm going to set that to white. And then I'm going to add a clip shape as well in order to make it a nice capsule. Clip shape dot capsule. So now we have our button all created and now we just want to add the context menu to it, which is actually a pretty simple process. We simply add it as another modifier and type out context menu. And then here in this closure, we can specify what elements we want to have pop up when we bring up the context menu. So we can bring up a lot of stuff, but uh, what I'm going to do in the, right now is I'm going to make two buttons pop up. So firstly, a button that I'm going to call um, create new note. And then we can have some function here. And I'm going to have a, another button, which I'm going to call edit existing note, which is also going to be a function. What we can actually do is we can just print it out I pressed button number two and I'm just going to copy and paste it here press button number one so that we can test it out so let's try this um, let's force click on our button and as you can see now we have our context menu popping up and we can select between the two buttons for example create new note which registered here, or we can also press edit existing note, which also popped up here. So it's actually pretty simple, but very useful to create these context menus. So hopefully this little quick tutorial gave you some insight on how to do just that. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to click the like and the subscribe button, and then I will see you back in the next video. Take care.